Hey everyone, welcome back to Lessons for Leaders. Uh, today we're talking about the top five uh, most common mistakes for new leaders. Number one, doing instead of managing uh, certainly is um, one where you build success quickly by being the hardest worker, but then uh, be can, be can become overwhelmed uh, when the work becomes too complex and not learning how to direct and allow others to be their best. Second is over committing. Uh, you're trying to still prove yourself in those early years and I've seen many times where folks want to go out and, um, and always say yes when uh, they overcommit and they overextend themselves. It usually results in your first lesson, which is failure. Third is failing to manage and communicate in all directions. Uh, there's this idea of like people just notice how hard I work and my value value will be based on the hard work. But you also have to communicate about what you're doing and stay aligned with expectations as well as uh, goals that your leader that you report to has. Fourth, changing things that are better left alone. You know, it's this idea of like putting your stamp on something and making it uniquely yours can be really exhilarating and uh, really, I think, fuel the creative side of an up-and-coming leader. But in some cases, um, it can be a distraction and can put your efforts towards something that maybe your leader doesn't value or your team doesn't see value in. So being real clear about um, changing the things that are necessary versus uh, just because it fuels your ego on uh, you trying to prove to yourself that you're bringing something new to the table. Number five, relying on your newfound power to get the job done. And this can be, you know, this can be about sort of just saying you're the leader and people need to do what you tell them to do. I think in most cases, folks aren't doing that, but um, because you because you lose a team pretty quickly. But it can it can come across as sort of a dictatorship or totalitarian view if if you really you know, create a structure where all ideas have to go through you and you're the final approver of all ideas and you create sort of a bottleneck at the end of the funnel for for you, the leader, in order for your team to progress. So those are the top five.